warning from the Mississippi Health Department. A number of people have been exposed to measles, and it's a perfect example of how this potentially deadly, deadly disease spreads. Good evening, and thanks for joining me. I'm Katina Rank, and my co-anchor Richard is off tonight. Health investigators say an East Tennessee man who tested positive for the highly contagious disease traveled to Hattiesburg last week while he was contagious. Local 24 News weekend anchor Annette Pegler live from the Shelby County Health Department with this local health alert. Annette? Well, Katina, we don't know much about this man, but we do know that he was not vaccinated and he interacted with many Mississippians during his travel. And now local health officials are pushing for more people to get vaccinated at places like this one behind me, the Shelby County Health Department Clinic, so an outbreak doesn't happen here. There was a, a, a contagious case of measles from Tennessee that traveled through the state between April 9th and April 11th. Today, Mississippi health officials addressed the public about a confirmed case of the measles. Unvaccinated people would be at risk, and, and so people who either are not vaccinated yet, like young children, and that's actually going to be one of our biggest concerns. Health officials say the East Tennessee man went to Hattiesburg last week while he was contagious and may have exposed people at the subway inside the Circle K on Highway 11 and the Raising Canes on Hardy Street. It starts um, with a prodrome or a period before the rash of a couple of days of sometimes high fever, a cough, runny nose, conjunctivitis or red eye linings. A rash then follows. Symptoms usually appear 11 days after exposure and it is highly contagious. Doctors encourage people to get vaccinated. If you do become ill, please contact your physician and let them know that you may have been exposed to measles because it's so contagious. We don't want people walking into an emergency room or walking into a crowded clinic and then spread the disease unknowingly. Now and again, measles spread when a person infected cough or sneezes or breathes. And again, that virus can stay up into a room up to two hours. So it's very important to get vaccinated tonight. Reporting live from East Memphis, Annette Pegler, Local 24 News.